everyone, and welcome to the 15th Annual Hall of Fame and Museum Induction Banquet. Tonight, we're also doing a drawing for a 50-50 donation. And Dennis Melvin. And we have Buzz Castor. We have Richard Lane. We have Del McCarty. Our first inductee tonight is John Baker. How you doing, John? Have you had have you had anybody get mad at you for messing up their race car? <laughs> I blame you for the rent. <laughs> Can you recall one instance? I don't mention me. <laughs> you don't mention me again. <laughs> don't need to me. <laughs> Are they still mad at you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, final thoughts about the, what it means to be a car Hall of Famer. Well, I couldn't have been in a better class. All these guys I grew up with have helped me down the road, you know, so. Just me. Appreciate it. We're proud of her. Proud of her. And they're proud of you. Congratulations, John Baker, for being a Hall of Fame. Yes. Al Bulbus. I used to go to the salvage yard and buy my tires. <laughs> they didn't run Hoosiers or they diamonds or anything like that. So you just get an old tire and regroup. Tires lasted a lot longer back then? No, it was rotten to start with. <laughs> At the salad journey it would be, yeah. <laughs> Al Baldus, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. <laughs> Step right down here and John Backlund will present the Hall of Fame Award. He's Kansas City's Mr. Open Wheel Racing. Tonight he's a Hall of Famer. Ray Boyles, congratulations. <laughs> Mark Evinger uh, decided he was going to build a track at Grand Valley, so I gave Mark the drawings and all the plans, and that's what uh, found his people in this. And it is a wonderful racetrack in terms of the configuration, almost perfect for midgets and open wheel cars. Joe and grandson Clinton, that, uh, what they have done in racing. I know uh, you were with Joe when he was racing the micros and the mini sprints and moved into the midgets and the chili bowl. Uh, just to kind of talk about how. How enjoyable that's been for you. Well, it's just been a great thing. Uh, uh, Joe's just done a wonderful job. And, uh, made it all good. Final thoughts about what it means for you to be in the Hall of Fame. Well, it's a very, great, great thing, and I don't know quite how I got here, but I'm sure I'm pleased to be with this group. It's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a nice round of applause for each other. Thank you. Tonight, 
He's a Central Auto Racing Boosters Hall of Famer, Darren Bear Christie. This is very special, very special, and it's an honor to be in, being uh, um, inducted into the Hall of Fame. I appreciate what the Hall of Fame does. Check the museum out; it's really cool. Um, but anyway, it's it's a uh, it's just an honor. So anyway, uh, everybody support your local dirt tracks and smile every day and let's eat dinner. How about that, Bear Christie, ladies and gentlemen? Congratulations. Tom Charles is going to do the honor. champion racer Kansas City has ever known, Tim Carrick. Come on up here, Tim. The problem is now, I see, it's all we had to do when we was growing up was you didn't have much choice. Go drink beer, or go to the races, or go fishing, which my uncle burned me out of that stuff with sugars. So and, and, and that was boring as hell. So, but now, Kids have so much to choose from that there's not that many kids coming up in into this sport. So without this, I mean, without us doing what we do, I mean, granted, maybe alcohol runners like they said, like Ray was talking about, running alcohol and stuff. But that's how we all learn our stuff. I mean, we see the bakers and all them. We don't. I mean, no matter what, it's all good people. That's that's what we're all around and we're used to. So. You know, it's just what we do. I mean, it's just like you ask Bear, everybody knows you. And half the time, he said, or, or the guy is just like, are you related to everybody in the county here? He's like, no, you just know them all. So and that's what it is. So racing is just there. It's just good for us. It's good for your heart. <laughs> Tim Carrick, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to now make welcome our next CARB Hall of Fame member, Steve Kosiski. I said, you know, I found out I didn't like racing. I like winning. And racing is what you do, and it takes everything to commit to it. You know, I've had different uh, crew guys that have passed away. I didn't get to make it to their funeral because I was committed to racing. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for the car boosters taking care of this. I know it takes a lot of work on any panel, any board. We're, we're on them on different things in our auto recyclers and everything else. It takes a lot of work. Not always great recognition and credibility, but thank you for everything everyone's done. How about a big round of applause, Steve Kosinski. George Losowski is already a member of the Knoxville Raceway Hall of Fame, and tonight he becomes a member of the Central Auto Racing Boosters Hall of Fame. And here tonight to accept his award, son Danny, the dude Losowski. And here he is, Danny. When you first got started at Knoxville, I mean, how how big of a thing was that? I mean, you, you'd grown up looking at Knoxville, and man, if I could go be there and race, but your dad was just right there to help you. He uh, he was everything to me. He if it wasn't for him, there's no way that you know, we'd have the career we had. You know, he uh, he ruled with an iron fist. Uh, his his best motto was for myself and uh, Brian when we started. He said, uh, "We'll work around the clock." Around the clock, I'll be right here with you. As soon as you want to go drink beer or chase women, I'm out. I'm going in the house. And uh, he'll go up to today. He's uh, he's 80 years old. And he still works in my shop every single day. Personality-wise, what made him so special down there in the in the pits? He he just had, he has a love for sprint racing, but more love to win. Uh, and he's got way more patience than my guy. So I think that really was good. And, and you don't have as much patience. No, nah, I got a short fuse. I'm thinking like I think I'm like Tim. I get uh, I got really hard. But no, he's a. Uh, he, he's, just, he's, he's real calm, and um, he never chewed my butt at the racetrack, but boy, when I get home at the shop, that's when he let me have it. 
And he hasn't quit. He's still out there working on cars, right? He works every single day in my shop. You know, we got this year I took on a, a little different role uh, for the, the most part of it. We're going to be a driver coaching Mason Daniel from California, and he's going to be a big part of his career, and, and uh, we're going to get that jump started. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. Daniel Wasowski representing George Wasowski, our next member of the Hall of Fame. Junior was looking to become a full-time racer and made the move to Pennsylvania to race with the best. You talk about going up against some pretty stiff competition. He was racing with Kenny Weld and Jan Opperman. Junior is a member of the BCRA Hall of Fame, and tonight he becomes a member of the Curb Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Junior Parkinson. Congratulations. Wow. Here you are. Thank you very much. Final thoughts about what it means for you to be in the Hall of Fame. I can remember this being talked about back many years ago with Charlie Heritage and Lou Fagner that talked about it many, many years ago with their ambition was to have all these Hall of Fames here in Kansas City. And I'm sure we're looking down because the board of directors that we have have got this thing headed in a great direction. Karen and all of them are doing a hell of a job. And like I said, the night she called me, it was a very humbling experience to sit there and listen to how I was going to be involved and inducted in this whole thing. And it's just a pleasure. And just, I just can't tell you how great a feeling it is to be involved with this organization and now to be part of it. And I know you'll be back every year. Oh, yeah. And I know I've been coming since Dad was uh, inducted in the seven. Yeah. And it's, uh, because this is just a great organization. Like I said, and the kids, uh, kids, the bunch that's got to carry, the bunch that's got to go now, got to point in the right direction and they're going to have a job. Congratulations. Thank you, Kurt. Junior Parkinson. for coming.